bed set up. First thing we did was we went ahead and, and scalped the grass down. Uh, the chickens were actually in this area prior to, so they uh, so they spent a good chunk of the time fertilizing, uh, tilling up a lot of the, the soil and uh, eating a lot of the grass and weeds. So now we're going to put down newspaper about a half inch thick. This is going to have to go down in, in several layers and then it has to be uh, wet down so it uh, doesn't blow away and it, and it uh, uh, sticks to the soil nicely. Cardboard's another option for your weed suppression that's probably a lot easier than putting down stacks of newspaper. keyhole bed set up. My, my deer fence is actually going to be installed along this lower edge and he's going to put his uh, main walkway for the keyhole set up right along the lower right along the fence and then uh, he'll have his keyholes off shooting from that. Behind the future keyhole setup is a very nice mature grapevine. He's also got a crabapple tree, some raspberries and blackberries. The nice thing about that is the, the beds are actually facing true south, so in the backdrop they actually can provide a little bit of a natural sun trap, not to mention we've got this nice bank in the background which can also help to provide a nice sun trap. He's also got a very nice hugel bed set up. This hugel bed is more like uh, Sepp Holzer style, very, very tall. It's probably about maybe six and a half, seven feet tall. We did a uh, fairly steep on the edges. I was able to get the back side of the hugel bed pretty steep. The front side was a little harder to get quite as steep because we're running downhill on that grade. But uh, both sides are pretty steep, so we just need to get it planted really, really quickly so it doesn't erode too badly. 